been to your big stories of the day. Here they are. President Biden visiting East Palestine today, a year after that toxic train derailment. Yeah, we're going to find out what he is saying to people who live there and also who he wants to hold accountable. As well, we are getting new information on the Kansas City shooting when it was supposed to be a very happy day to celebrate the Kansas City Chiefs uh, turned into tragedy. We have more on that tonight. Plus an update, something you've been following for a long time, the demolition in Harbor Creek, the former Kmart being torn down. What's going on and what's next there? So let's start in East Palestine. President Biden today visiting East Palestine, touring the site of last year's train derailment and updating residents about federal efforts to hold Norfolk Southern accountable. It's the president's first visit to East Palestine, something that's drawn criticism from the political right and from residents of East Palestine who have said they feel abandoned and forgotten by the federal government. Today is one week since we brought you live exclusive video of the start of demolition at part of a longtime vacant plaza in Harbor Creek. And that was the day we captured the demo live on air. This now is the same view today. It is the backside of the former Big Lots building. It's been cut through, opened up since we were last there. Crews from Empire Excavating of Waterford continue to separate the remains of the inside, which also includes the former Kmart store. Both businesses were vacant for almost about seven years before that demo started. Demolition is now on schedule, expected to take a few more weeks, and we'll continue to follow the progression.